ahead. Now to new developments in the toxic ooze investigation. Confrontational moments taking place in the Capitol during a hearing on it. Meantime, in an Oakland County courthouse, the battle between Gary Sayers and Madison Heights continues as they discuss the unstable and unsafe building responsible for all of this ooze. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live from Madison Heights tonight with a lot of talk about the building behind you, Hank. Yeah, Devin, in fact, take a live look behind me. You can see the work continues right now to get these toxic chemicals out of the building so these chemicals are not a danger to those who live and work nearby. Today, though, the pressure on the state, local officials as lawmakers really ask some tough questions. A tense morning in Lansing. Lawmakers wanted to hear how we got to this point. How was Gary Sayers able to operate this law? How was he able to repeatedly ignore tickets and violations? I asked the director of Eagle. I cannot promise you that bad things are not going to happen to good people. I can't. But can you make the promise that if, if, if people are raising these issues in the future that there's going to be a quick response? Because it seems like the concern was that this guy was on the radar since the mid-90s, violation after violation, yet nothing is done until ooze is coming out of the building in, in 2019. Yep, completely agree. We have a huge effort around processes to understand how do we move more quickly. And it was timing that was under fire today. Why did it take so long? What I have a problem with is... None of the local municipalities were notified back in 2017 when Eagle came in. Now, there are supposed to be some tubes back there. I live right down the road. I remember seeing the semis haul those tubes onto their property. The local leaders frustrated. They claim the state never shared critical information and warnings. As was mentioned today, he was the second of only three businesses that have been closed down in the state. That's ridiculous. And in an Oakland County courtroom today, the battle between the city of Madison Heights and Gary Sayers rages on. The city wants Sayers to pay for demolition and much more. And the testimony has revealed disturbing details about the condition of his property. Uh, this was an area of industrial debris just piled up haphazardly, just stuff piled up everywhere. Mold-like substance on the ceiling. This is uh, some of the, the roof that has actually uh, just rotted right away. You can see the sky. Back out here live, the building in unbelievable condition. It makes you wonder how investigators made their way inside so many times over the years and didn't automatically demand that this business be shut down. We're live here tonight in Madison Heights. Hank Winchester, help me hang. Hank, it also makes you wonder if what's inside the building makes it even possible to tear the building down at this point. Demolition itself could be a kind of danger. And Devin, that was mentioned this morning in the Capitol and also in the courtroom in Madison. So what really needs to happen is they need to work with crews here to figure out exactly what the next steps should be to make sure before they try to raise this building that it's safe to do so. Yeah. Back to you. Yeah. All right, Hank. And by the way, Hank has been keeping a running uh, daily log of what's been happening surrounding this toxic ooze investigation. You can check that out at clickondetroit.com. Just go to the Help Me Hank page and we will stay on it, of course, by the hour.